What up dogs, how are you going here to the face of the face? We uh, are having a tutorial on, uh, what was it going to be again? Uh, hold on, let me just look at the, the title above the video. Oh yeah, um, keyboard shortcuts and hammer. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I don't know what came over me just then. Anyway, if you love keyboard shortcuts and you don't know any of them in hammer, this is the tutorial for you. If you know keyboard shortcuts and hammer, there might be a few you don't know, so just watch it anyway. If you hate keyboard shortcuts and absolutely detest them, well, tough luck, you're watching. All right, new map. That's a big fat block of some description. Oh, it's green, isn't it? Yeah, it's green. Uh, look at white. Alright, we have a white block. First things first, Shift S is your clicky tool for clicking things. Uh, it's the selection tool, that's it. Shift Z um, opens and maximizes and minimizes something. So if you've got a view, click it and then it'll uh, get bigger. So if you ever find yourself in a single view like this, and you know you could either drag this back up or just shift Z out of it, should bring you back to the default. Okay, next we have what there's a uh, shift C is the camera tool, which uh, you only really need to use once anyway. Shift V is the vertex edit tool. Um, this is what you guys should use instead of carve if you don't already know. You should already know that by now. If you don't, you really shouldn't be mapping. Okay. Uh, <laughs> What have we got next? Shift B. Shift B makes blocks and stuff. Hello, block. Um, Shift A. This is a good one. Shift A brings up the face edit sheet. These are the kind of things which will help your fingers and your wrist. I've got a very neat set of these. All right, now a very cool one is if you've got lots of stuff lying about. Just click on one thing, and Control E will bring you to it in the 3D views. Control Shift E will bring you to it in the 3D view. Um, it'll make you look at its center. It won't actually teleport you straight to its center, but you'll be looking at the center. Um, also, um, if you're zooming in and out in one view, you can hold Control and uh, zoom in and out in all the views. And if you hold Control E, you can just do it in the center of the object. Very nice. Uh, why do I keep saving this? Oh no, don't do this to me, Hammer. Uh, come on, come on. There's a good hammer. Alright, back to the story. Um, uh, there isn't actually a keyboard shortcut for applying a texture, but I'm quite sure you can just go and face edit sheet. Oh yeah, here's another one. Um, hold shift. You can select an entire object. So if you have lots of weird faces selected and stuff, um, you can you can just uh, deselect an entire object um, by holding control shift and then getting rid of it. So that's just the equivalent of using the selection tool, but with the face edit sheet. <coughs> Trying to think of anything else. Oh yeah, uh, so you've got an object. Go into the 3D view. Yep. See what we're doing there. Control E and uh, Control and scroll. Control X brings up the clipping tool, and you can repeatedly hit Control X to change what you got clipped. So I'm just going to do that for the heck of it. Um, oh, uh, here's an important one. Control H does not hollow anymore. Control H actually hides something. So if I want to hollow this, I've got to right click and go to make hollow. Um, Control H uh, makes everything else disappear. Oh my god, panic! It's all gone. Don't worry. If you hit U, the U key, it all appears again. So basically, if you, if you click on something and just do a normal H, it hides it. H for hide. U for uh, unhide or reveal. So that's just a little note. Um, of course, uh, Control Shift C is carve. It's, uh, just, just don't use carve. Don't use carve. You just use the freaking vertex edit tool, for God's sakes. Um, yeah, uh, sorry about that little one. And that's pretty much all I can think of right now. I'll put anything else in the description. Um, oh yeah, Shift E. Shift E makes entities. Hello people. Now we have player spawns in the middle of space. This guy's gonna die. Um, I can't seem to think of anything else off the top of my head. But as you know, there's the simple stuff like Control S for save, uh, or Control O for open. Um, Alt P is the error checker. Oh, there's tons of stuff I just can't remember. Um, why is there a print function? Hmm, I don't know why there's a print function. Alt P is the error checker. There's no errors found in my map. Cause they're just aren't. Um, here we go. I'm just remembering it all now. X. Um, if you just tap X, it toggles being able to do stuff in the 3D view. If um, you go up here, turn on 3D grid, you can actually move stuff in the 3D view. It's good fun. Uh, it's very useful sometimes if you're just bored of using the 2D, 2D view. Uh, let's turn those off. Um, o shows your FPS and the position of the camera. 
P, oh, the P talk was the 3D view, that's it. I uh, shows banding boxes, and the rest you can just discover for yourself by going around on the keyboard. I do rec recommend just tapping keys and seeing what they're doing. Uh, try not to do too many control and shifts. Uh, control W toggles between groups and solids, as you can see here. So if I make everything to a just big funk detail, which is Control T. <laughs> Oh, they're just popping out of nowhere now, aren't they? <laughs> okay, um, funk detail, control T. Uh, if I just click away, select this, this is just a group. Now if I hit control W, I can select individual parts and move them about. And then if I hit control W again, it's a group again. Now, shift W means that something doesn't move on the grid. That wasn't shift W. Shift W <laughs> means something doesn't move on the grid. So if I select one piece of this, that isn't moving on the grid at all. And Shift W toggles it, so just hit it again, and it goes back. And I think three clicks Philip uh, did discuss Shift W at one point. And so far, that's really all I can come up with uh, for about the 15th time I've said that. But, yeah. And one last thing. If you ever uh, don't like uh, hitting these buttons to increase and decrease the grid size, just 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 use um, the square brackets next to P and hopefully under the backspace, at least on a UK keyboard. Um, I've actually bound that to a special sideward scroll on my mouse so I can just do this. Like a boss. Alright. Anyway, cheerio. Discover stuff for yourself. I can't really go through everything today. Bye.